In this course, I will going to teach you how you can create digital marketing agency website. Now to create this website, we will going to use WordPress. Now to make this website, we have used all the free resources like free plugins, themes. So in simple, we will only going to use free themes and plugins and other resources to make this website. And now whatever resources and images and videos which you are seeing in this website, I will going to provide you those resources for absolutely free. So you can also use that resources in your website too. Also, this website is completely responsive in mobile, desktop and tablet. Now you can see this is an arrow. So when you will click on this arrow, you will come to very top of the website. Now here at very top, you can see that we have have put our social icon so for example if a customer click any of the logo they will go to your social platform i will teach you how you can put the social platform to your website so for example if he click on youtube he will go to your youtube channel similarly they can call you they can email you here it will show your address where your agency is located here at very top left side it will show the logo then it will show your header menu so first will be the home section second will be the blog section so when someone will click on blog they can see all the blogs you have in the website so this is just a demo blog but i will teach you how you can put and write blogs in your website so along with creating digital marketing agency website i will also going to provide you resources to write a perfect article or blog for your website so you can get free traffic from search engine like google yahoo okay then is the our services section so here you can list all the services which you will going to provide so in this website you can see we have put the content marketing social marketing app development web development ppc advertising seo optimization so similarly you can put all your services which you want to provide to your clients in your digital marketing agency uh, then is the about a section where people can learn about your agency and here you can see in the blog we have this search bar so people can search anything they want and then social platform them subscribe to newsletter here we will teach you how you can put your forms okay now the contact us so people can contact you if they want any services from your website so here you can provide them support here you can list all the services which you provide and and here we have this email and email section so, so when your clients will going to click here it will automatically going to open their email and your clients can send you email if they have any questions okay and here we have this graph where you can show your clients where your agency is located also at very bottom you can provide them the faq sections like do you provide meeting what if i am not satisfied with your service how i make payment and similarly you can write more such questions which your client generally asks you so that is called as frequently asked questions okay so in case if your client have any questions so they can see your faq and they can get instant answer okay then if your customers again want to go to your website home page so they can simply click here or if they will click on the logo they will go to the home page of your website so here you can see we have provided you this image so you can also put your image here you can put this text of course this website is totally customizable you can customize it however you want to you can change the color and everything i will going to teach you each and everything so that you can learn and you can use your creative to make this website more adorable and more attractive okay then scroll up here we have about us so here you can provide the short description when people will click on learn more they will go to your about us page similarly you have our services section so when someone will click on our services they will go to your our services page where you can tell your customers more about your services which you will going to provide them okay then you have our benefit section then you have your short benefit section then you have this professional team section where you will show the important members who work in your digital marketing agency you can also provide your members a social platform link here and then we have testimonials where you can provide your clients reviews and ratings okay then uh, you have your blog section then you have this footer where you will provide us keep in touch and useful links subscribe to newsletter form your logo a short description and at very bottom you can provide your about us contact us at faq our services terms and condition privacy policy links and of course your copy uh, copyright trademark okay so this is a website we will going to create inside this course so if you are also interested so you can take this course and you can learn to create this this amazing digital marketing agency website also as i have said you that this website is 100 percent customizable you do not require any coding you just need to do drag and drop and you can create this website also this website is 100 percent responsive in your desktop tablet and mobile so if you are interested you can take this course i will see you guys inside this course bye bye 
Hey guys, below this lesson, we have provided you one download link or one downloadable resources. So when you will download it, so in your computer download section, you will going to see this DMA file dot zip, right? So if you are a window user, you just need to right click and then you will see one option of extract. But if you are a Mac user, so you just need to double click on this file then you will see one folder will be generated and inside this folder you will see all the images all the testimonials images and all these things we have provided you inside this zip file so make sure that whenever you will going to download the file so when you will download it you will find that in a zip format that means it will look like this dma files dot zip you just need to right click and click on compress if you are a window user but of course if you are a mac user you just need to double click on this zip file one folder will be automatically generated and then you can access these files okay so these are the files and images which we will going to use in this course so make sure that you guys download this file whether you are creating any kind of website whether it's a wordpress website whether it's a website which is made with the help of php scripts if you want to install any type of applications so for any cases you require domain and hosting so in this introduction part i just want to tell you that domain and hosting is one of the most important thing to build any type of website or to install any type of application inside your servers so to create any website or to install any application like email application or there can be any applications you have to have one domain and hosting so now let's see how you can set up hostinger or how you can buy hosting from hostinger now let me make things very simple i will going to provide you total 10 percent discount i will first tell you to use my link you will going to get three percent discount then i will going to tell you to use my coupon code if you will use this coupon code which i will going to provide you in this video you will going to get additional seven percent discount when you will going to use this link with this coupon code so make sure that you use both link and coupon code to get total 10 percent discount also you have to use both of them together otherwise you will not going to get any discount so before we proceed further i just want to clear you what is hosting in a very simple language hosting is storage whatever images videos files you will going to upload inside your website all those database which includes your image videos files all those will going to store inside one hosting and hosting is nothing but it is a storage there are lots of companies who provide hosting but best reliable amazing on performance based 24 by 7 support so all this facility you will going to get in one website that is hostinger so hostinger is a hosting company which provides hosting to you you just simply need to search blog.bing.commerce.in after that you need to put slash mark then you have to write hostinger h o s t i n g e r also i will provide this link in down resources description of this video so you can also go there and click it after you will write this blog.beancommerce.in slash hostinger just click on enter so you will go to hostinger website very simple so now whatever you will purchase you will going to get 3% discount from here because you have purchased with my link so now if you are a us citizen then you can buy in terms of dollars you can see all the currencies are in dollars whatever plan you want to buy you can buy no problem for example if you are so if you are from some other countries you just need to click on this country icon just click here then it will tell you different different countries so for example i live in india so if i will click here so now you people will going to see that right now i'm in indian hostinger so right now it will show currency in terms of my country that is rupees super simple if you will go to start now or if you will just scroll down here you will see that you will going to get three options that is best web hosting wordpress hosting and website builder i will suggest every one of you to go with web hosting because they are best for startups for a small and medium class business as well now here in best web hosting friends you can install all your wordpress website all your email applications php script website in just one click so i will highly recommend you to go with this web hosting plan but for some reason you want to choose wordpress you can go with that but yes you can also install wordpress as i said in this web hosting in just one click so please go with these options and here you will going to see there are lots of plans you can choose plans according to your requirement this is the most 
cheapest plan if you are just a startup here you can see you will going to get this much of features if you will pay more you will going to get more features according to your plan you will going to choose here you can see in this plan you can create just one website one email account that means support at the rate bingcommerce.in professional emails you can create only one you will going to get free ssl you will not going to get free domain in this plan but yes if you will go with these plans you will going to get more features like on that website you can create more storage you will get you will going to get free emails unlimited free ssl certificate unlimited free domain for one year so you can choose plans according to your requirement but i will suggest you it will be best to choose these last two plans so whatever plan you will choose all the process will be same so i will going to select this business web hosting you just need to click on add to cart now you will come here so you can see you have a lifetime ssl certificate for absolutely free cloudflare protection daily backups you can have one free domain here so for example if i will go for ghapagap okay g h a p a ghapagap dot in so if i will search here if this will available then i can have this domain so you can see this domain is available so hosting has provided me this for absolutely free okay they are not taking you any charge here you can choose more domains so for example if i do not want this domain so i can just go with tapart tap dot in so from here you can go with dot online dot shop dot tag dot site okay there are many dot com so there are many okay you can choose according to your requirements so i want tapartup dot in okay so i will just click on search so you can see here domain tapartup dot in is taken so it will going to give you notification that this domain name is not available you have to try some other domain because it is already being taken by someone else okay so let's go with ghapagap ghapagap dot in let's try dot com if it is available then it is amazing it is also not available so let's make it dot in then just click on search so this domain is available okay so i can just go with this domain now here you can see business web hosting you can just purchase for one month purchase for 12 months purchase for 24 months purchase for 48 months so you can see if you will purchase for one month they will going to charge one two three four in your country it can be some other currency okay so it will differ the amount but in indian currency it will be very cheap but as you will go to high plan so for example if i will choose to 48 months so here you can see i can save around 53 percent that is huge amount okay you can just go with 24 months 12 months but i will recommend please go with at least 12 months don't get go with one month it will be very much expensive for you try to go with 48 months okay so this is the 48th month plan now here you will going to see we have this coupon code option okay here you will see one click here just click here and here you can write being commerce b-e-i-n-g being c-o-m-n-e-r-c-e -E. so you have to add this coupon code that is being commerce and after you will write the coupon code here you just need to click on this plus button so right now friends you can see you are getting additional seven percent discount from my coupon code so the price has become very much less okay so here you are getting free SSL, free Cloudware protection, free daily backups, plus you are getting one domain for free, plus you are getting 7% discount by my coupon code. It is just amazing. Okay, so you can just go with 48 months. If you want to, 48 months will be actually a very good idea. Then after you will do this, just click on checkout. Then it will ask you to sign up so you can put your name, email and password. After you will do that, just click on create account and check out. So for example, I will put Bing Commerce, Bing Commerce, password is this, then just click on create account and check out. Then it will going to give you option on which method you want to pay. So again, you can check here, you are purchasing all the details for 20, 48 months, that is four years. You are getting free SSL, free cardware, free domain, okay so you can see the tax and everything so here i will go and pay with debit card or credit card you can choose according to your requirements whatever you want to pay you can do paypal ubi okay so so friends here i will going to put all my payment method okay so after you will put your card name card number expiry date cvc code address or anything so it will show according to the payment method which you will going to choose so i am choosing cards which is showing me card details okay so after you will do this just click on pay now Then it will ask me to put my OTP number. Then I will just click on submit. Then just wait for a few seconds. Then friends, you can see this is how it will going to look. It will tell you, welcome to Hostinger, Kunal Lunar, it will going to give your name. Then you just need to click on start now. So just click on start now. 
now it will immediately tell you to choose a domain so you have this domain which you have just got okay so you can just do this or in case if you guys have some other domain that means you have purchases from maybe godaddy or if you have purchased it from namechimp so i will also teach you how you can connect your hostinger with that domain which you have purchased from godaddy namechimp or any other domain website but right now we have taken this domain for free so i will going to select this domain then i will just scroll down here i can provide the details so for example i live in india so i can choose india from here for personal purpose then i will click on next step so here it will ask for details so i will going to put all the details so the lunari will be in last name i will put the details you can put your phone number after you will put your all details you just need to click on finish registration after you will do this just wait for a few seconds now your domain name is registering so you have to wait for some minutes then from here you can see build a new website so here you will see one option of skip i will start from scratch you just have to click here then you just need to finish setup or before that we can change it let's see uh, to asia if you want to i will select it to asia then i will click on select so whatever location are very much close to you just select them for india it's asia singapore then i will click on finish setup then just wait for less than 3 minutes so that your website creation can be done then here you can see it will tell you the control panel of hostinger so hostinger control panel is called as edge panel okay so you just have to click on this manage side so friends you can see now you are in your hostinger account very simple now you can see we have successfully purchase our hostinger so hope you guys have somehow got the idea of how you can purchase hostinger hosting now here you can see all the things so whatever re renew you want to do you can do it from here you can set main domain you can upgrade your plan you can set up your accounts you can change password you can create email accounts from here so for example if your domain name is right now uh, kapaghab.com right so you can put support at the rate kapaghab.com or dot in whatever your domain name is then here you will going to get domains detail from here you can add any website subdomains you can go with cloudflare you can go with import website you can go with migrate website so for example if you want one of your website to migrate it inside hostinger so for example you have one website in siteground and if you want that site to come to hostinger so you can go to migrate company will going to do this for you for absolutely free okay so here you have digital marketing and there are many other options which you can go with the hostinger panel so whenever you want to again visit to your hosting of hostinger so you just need to search edge panel dot hostinger dot com then click on enter so you will be again go to your hostinger panel okay so this is the thing i want to teach you here we have we have sent a verification email okay so we can just go and click on resend email so in rd simulators we have going to get one message from hostinger so that hostinger can verify uh, the email address just click on verify email so that in case in future if you guys have faced any of issue so with the help of this email address hostinger can help you okay so for that purpose we are verifying your email address so friends you can see now your email address is also verified in hostinger so from here you can manage each and everything you can go to home hostings and almost every place okay so hope you guys have learned how you can create or purchase your hostinger hosting how to buy domain on godaddy this is what we will going to cover in this lecture most of the companies offer domain for free for one year if you already have then it's okay you can leave but for some reason if you want to have more domains then godaddy is best option because they provide very cheap domain plus they have very easy to understand website interface that will make you understand everything very easily so after you will going to have domain so your visitors can type your domain on web browser and then they can come to your website for example my website is beingcommerce.in this is one domain if someone want to come to my website he needs to type my domain then he can just come to my website like this so similarly you can acquire domain on godaddy it's very easy you just need to search godaddy 
on browser geo go d a double d y then you just need to click on enter so here you will see advertisement at very down you will going to see we have this godaddy link you just need to click here now according to your country it will take you to your currency website i am from india so you can see they have taken me to in dot godaddy dot com that means india godaddy website no problem all process are same but only the difference here will be of currency i will be able to see all the domains in my currency that's the only difference so if you are from us you can see us dollar if you are from some other countries so godaddy will automatically going to take you to website okay do not worry now after you will come to website of godaddy whatever domain you want to buy here you will see find your perfect domain you just have to type that domain here for example i want one website that is tapa tap 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 dot x y z dot i n okay so first of all just put your name of your business and then click on search domain now here i can see that tapata pro dot x y z is available so you can see there are lots of domains that is available related to what you have typed here so you can see here they are saying tapata dot com is taken okay so for example if you want tapata dot i n so if you will type here tapata dot i n in search bar and then click on search then you can see that tapata.in is also taken so according to your name of your business just see the domain name which is available and you can take that domain so for example i can just type tapata.xyz is that available so you can see that tapata.xyz is available so i can purchase this domain for just 99 at down you can see all the related domain which you can also choose like tapata.org tapata.co Okay, the part of dot x y z, the part of dot y. So there are many. You can choose whatever you want. Now there are some premium domains. Like for example, if I will type u f o meet dot com, if I will search for this domain, you can see this is a premium domain. So premium domains will cost you lots of money. You can see they are very expensive. Reason because of the unique name. Okay. so you can see this is the premium domain so make sure that whenever you buy any domain please check the price now if you will take .com here you can see .com so .com is very popular so that's the reason it is very much expensive as compared to .in you can see ufo.ufomeet.in is cheap only 149 okay so i am just trying to say you that if you will buy .com it will be bit expensive if you will buy dot I N it will be very much cheap as compared to dot com. If you will buy dot co dot I N, it will be more cheaper than than dot I N. If you will buy dot x y z, it will be very much cheaper as compared to all domains. Okay, so here also you can see U F O made dot x y z. If I will search for this and I will click on search. so you can see it is available for just 99 okay so hope you guys are somehow getting idea okay but i will go for tapata.xyz click on search so for demo purpose i will going to buy this cheap domain to make you understand how to buy domain name on godaddy after you will choose any of your domain for example you have like this domain tapata.online you can just click here and it will be added to cart but i will just go and click on this domain add to cart so you can see now it will going to get added here you can see now it is showing 1078 reason because i am purchasing it for 2 years if you will change it to 1 year price will go to only 99 rupees okay so it's super cheap if you guys want for more years you can buy the more year you will going to buy more discount you will going to get but you are just now buying this domain so godaddy always offer it for very cheap okay so i am taking this domain for 1 year so i will just click on continue to cart Now here you can see they are providing domain privacy and protection. We have talked about this. If you want to, you can go. It will provide some protection to your domain, but I will not going to buy. Okay, I will just click on this no thanks, and I will also untick it. Okay, and from here you make sure that you don't buy professional email. Click on no thanks, and then just click on continue to cart. So now you can see the total review. of your domain you can see tapata.xyz for one year costing you 99 89% discount given by godaddy if you want to add privacy protection you can add it from here according to your requirement but i will i will not add after you will do everything the total cost will be 99 then just click on checkout now if you guys don't have account in godaddy you just need to sign up first so i will just click on sign up with google i will choose the account all good to go now i will just click on check out now billing information i will put bing commerce everything then phone number then click on agree then put your address post number state city don't put organization gst it is totally off
Now let's see how you can install SSL to your domain name so that it will going to show this pedal like connection is secure. If you don't have SSL, then it will show like this not secure, not secure. So it's very dangerous whenever any visitor come to your website. So for security purpose, we use SSL certificate. So it's very easy to install in Hostinger. So you can see, you can just go on SSL here at very top. Here you can click on install SSL. From here also you can install to this domain gabagab.in and on home it is also showing lifetime SSL so just click on setup. From here also you can install so it's very easy just click on install SSL. It will take some time just wait for some minutes 1 to 3 minutes maximum. So now you can see it has shown that SSL is installed successfully you just need to click on close okay so this is how you can install ssl so whatever domain you have you can just go to ssl and when you will click on install ssl so whatever domains you will going to have all those domains will going to show up here you can you have to just select that domain and you just need to click on install now okay just go to home again how to make or how to install any website or WordPress website to Hostinger. It's very easy to do. Now there can be two cases. First case is that you have purchased hosting from Hostinger and Hostinger has also provided you one domain for free. So with this you can create website. There can be another or second case where you have purchased hosting from Hostinger but you have domain in another company like GoDaddy. So how you can make or install website or WordPress website in this case. So we will going to talk about both cases. Okay. Now let's see how you can install WordPress or any website to Hostinger. So if you have purchased hosting from Hostinger plus you have got one domain for free. So we will going to teach you how you can install. It's very easy. First of all you need to go to your Hostinger panel. So you just need to search hpanel.hostinger.com then you will going to come to your hostinger account it will look like this so for example when i will click on hosting so this is the hosting plan which i have purchased from hostinger and they have given me this gabagab.in domain for free so i want to install website or wordpress website inside this domain it's very simple you just need to click on manage and then you need to scroll down scroll down here you will going to see we have website option here you will see auto installer just select this now it is telling you to choose option which you want to install so you can install wordpress and woocommerce directly joomla others or wordpress it's totally up to you most popular is wordpress you can install it so just click on select now you are installing wordpress on this domain that is gabagab.in okay you can make it to https From here, after you will do this, you have to provide the administration username, administration email, then the website title. For example, I will write Gapagap, and then you have to put the password. Put the password. After you will put password, you just need to go down. Here you can see the database password. If you want to, you can put the database, but we will leave it. Then you will see that the required disk space to install wordpress is 55 mb it's okay then at down you will see this option of install also it will going to give options to turn off the automatic updates that means whenever new update will going to come to wordpress so if you will tick mark this so that update will not going to get automatically updated second option if you will choose so it will only going to update in minor versions if you will select this so your wordpress will going to update automatically whenever any new version will going to come so it's totally up to you whatever you want to choose you can go for that and then just click on install it will take some time to install wordpress it's very easy do not worry just wait for some seconds or some minutes one to three minutes then it will automatically going to install so friends you can see that we have installed wordpress to this domain if you will click on these three dots from here you can manage them details you can delete this let's go to our wordpress dashboard just click here it will take you to the wordpress dashboard so you can see this gapagab.in we have installed ssl so it is showing connection is secure now if you want to go to admin section of this wordpress website so just type your domain name at and you have to add hash wp dash admin and then click on enter so you will come to your panel here you have to provide email address or username and then password which you have just put so after you will put the username and password you will going to go to your dashboard wordpress dashboard 
So it's super simple to install WordPress or any website to Hostinger when you have purchased hosting from Hostinger plus you have bought domain for free from Hostinger. So it's the simplest method to do this. How to install WordPress website? So for example, you have hosting, you have purchased from Hostinger, but you have purchased domain from some another company, for example, GoDaddy. In simple, you have purchased hosting from Hostinger, domain from GoDaddy. So how you can add WordPress website in this scenario? How you can connect your domain and hosting and how you can install website or WordPress website? This is what we will going to cover. It's very simple. So you just need to go to your Hostinger hosting the first thing which you need to do so to go to your hosting dashboard you just need to search hpanel.hostinger.com and then click on enter you will go to hostinger dashboard very simple now you need to open your godaddy account so you just need to search godaddy you just need to go to godaddy website just select here and after you will go to your godaddy website you just need to click on your icon or profile from here you just need to go to my products then for example this is the domain which you have purchased from godaddy and you want to connect this domain to your hostinger website very simple so you can see right now we have opened our hostinger account and we have opened our godaddy so when i have opened godaddy so this tapartup.xyz is the domain which i need to connect with the hosting of hostinger so that i can install website so it's very simple you just need to go to your hostinger and from here you just need to go to hosting from here you just need to click on add website now it will going to ask for domain name so our domain name was tapartup.xyz was our domain just copy this just go and put the domain here uh, tapartup.xyz you can even put the password after you will do that click on add website so now you can see this website is added that is tapartup.xyz now to install website in this tapartup.xyz domain you just need to click on this manage button here just click here so after you will click here you will going to see your domain name is not pointing to hostinger so now if you will click on this click more you will see these two name servers so if you will go to slide again so you can see our hosting which is in hostinger they have provided us these two name servers name server one is this one name server two is this one so you just need to paste these two codes in your domain so just again go to your godaddy this was the godaddy so in your domain here you will see one dns option you just need to click here after you will come here you just need to scroll down here you will see this name server options here you just need to click on change and here at right down you will see enter my own name server so you just have to click here now friends what we are doing the hostinger has provided us two name servers which are these two we just need to put these two codes inside our domain these name servers then what will going to happen our domain and hosting will be connected to each other and then we can create website easily so now let's do this just copy the first name server go to godaddy paste the name server here like this similarly go to second name server copy this go here and paste the name server here after you will do this just click on save button i will click on save button then it will show you something like this just click on yes then click on continue now friends it will take around 30 minutes or 5 minutes or even it can take 24 hours to connect your domain and hosting together okay so if you will again go to hosting just click on close just refresh your web hostinger account once more so still it is not pointing but do not worry it will going to point out after 5 minutes or maybe 30 minutes or it can take 24 hours here you can see they have written if you have pointed your domain to us please keep in mind that domain can take up to 24 hours to fully propagate if you would like to point your domain to us you will need to point your domain to our name servers we have already done that so it will maximum take 24 hours okay so right now you do not need to worry so you can see our hosting was at hostinger our domain was at godaddy so we have successfully connected our hosting and domain because hosting has provided us two name servers which we have put it in our domain name servers and then we have connected it okay so it will take 24 hours do not worry so after you will wait for 24 hours you will see now this message will going to go the reason behind is that it has successfully changed the name servers and now our hosting that is hostinger 
is successfully connected with our domain that is from GoDaddy. Very simple. You can even get this message from GoDaddy. You can see your name service has changed for tapartup.xyz. Okay. Now, what you need to do next is to add SSL in this domain. Just click on this SSL button here. Now you can see I have lots of websites. So again, just click on install SSL. I will choose tapartup.xyz and then click on install SSL. So now friends, you can see the SSL is successfully installed in this domain. Then just click on close. So you can see that SSL is installed on this domain. So just again go to hosting. Now you can see the lots of websites I have hosted here. Okay, so all websites will going to show you inside hosting. So whatever website you want to manage. So for example, right now we have to install our website or WordPress website inside tapartup.xyz. So at last I will going to click on this manage of tapartup.xyz domain. I will click on manage. Then just scroll down, scroll down. In website, you will going to see auto installer. Just select this. And right now, all the WordPress website which you will going to create will going to show up here. So for your tapartup.xyz, we have to install WordPress. I will select WordPress. Now friends, here you will see HTTP and HTTPS. So one concept you learn have to learn here is that right now we have installed SSL certificate for tapartup.xyz. So we will going to make it to HTTPS. But if in case you haven't installed SSL certificate in any of your domain. So make it to HTTP only. Do not make it to HTTPS until and unless you add SSL certificate on that domain. But right now we have added our SSL certificate on this domain. So I will make it to HTTPS. After you will do this, make sure that you write your username, administrator, password, administrator, email and your website title. So website title can be anything. Maybe the name of your business. Okay. Then select the language. I will select it to English. I will write a website name as Tapa Tap. Very simple. So you can see I have put the password as well. So if you want to put the database password, you can uh, do that, but I will not do. Okay. So it's totally up to you if you want to. Then from here, you will going to get three options. So if you want Hostinger to not update your WordPress website when any update will come, so you can choose this option. If you want Hostinger to update your WordPress in minor version, you can choose this option. Or if you want Hostinger to update your website or WordPress website whenever any new version will come. So they will going to do this for you if you will select the third option. Okay. So after you will do this, just click on install. Save it. It's totally up to you. Wait for maximum three minutes or it can happen even in less than three minutes. Okay. So friends, you can see now WordPress is successfully installed in this domain that is HTTPS tapartup.xyz. Just select here. Now you will be able to go to your WordPress website. Okay, you can see this is the WordPress website. We have installed SSL certificate. So here it is showing connection is secure. That is amazing. Now in case if you want to delete any of your WordPress, you can just go and delete it. It's totally up to you. So to login inside your WordPress dashboard, this is the domain. So you just need to write a slash mark, then add WP, then write dash, then write admin. After you will do this, just click on enter. So now you will go to the email address and password so here you have to put the email address and password which you have just now kept before you have installed wordpress okay so here you have put uh, your password and email so this is what you have to put here after you will do that just click on login so now friends you can see we have successfully login inside our dashboard or you can say wordpress dashboard so it was super simple to do this or to install your website or WordPress website inside your Hostinger when you have hosting with Hostinger but you have domain from some other company like GoDaddy. So this is how you can install your WordPress website in this scenario. So it's applicable with all hosting companies. So for example, if you have hosting from Hostinger but if you have domain from MailChimp, so same process is followed. For example, you have domain from GoDaddy and if you have hosting from SiteGround then also if you want to install you have to follow the same process which we have just now followed okay so it's very simple to do this so again just click on this hosting so here you will going to see all your website now again I'm repeating whenever you need to again log into inside your WordPress website you just have to write your domain that is the part of the XYZ I've written here then you have to put slash mark then write WP then write dash then write admin and then click on enter you will go to your wordpress dashboard super simple okay so now whenever you install wordpress website you just need to clean your wordpress website because there are lots of things which we do not require so first of all we have this dashboard okay so if you will click on the screen options from here you can untick all of them
and then again click on screen options now you can see our wordpress website is 100 percent clean now you will see here we have post so from here you can add blogs from media you can add images and videos from pages you can manage all the pages comments here you will see all the comments which visitors will going to make inside your website now appearance appearance means how your website will going to look if you will go to your website if you will see this visit site just right click and open it in a new tab this is how your website is looking right now you can further customize it with the help of appearance plugins from here you can add extra features to your WordPress website. Right now you can see if you will click on plugins, install, install plugins. Just click here. You will going to see there are lots of plugins like all-in-one SEO. This all-in-one SEO is activated here. So this makes our website more functionable. We add more plugins that add lots of features to our website. You can see right now we have this Google Analytics for WordPress by Monster Insight. So you can see this Monster uh, Insight plugin so these are all the plugins so what you can do we just do not require this plugin so just click here just click so all the plugins will automatically going to get selected just go to bulk action you can just click on deactivate click on apply automatically you can see all the plugins will deactivate again just click here then just click on delete just click on apply click on ok so now you can see all the plugins has been deleted which is not required by us again refresh your website so you can see there's no plugin so all those extra plugins which was there earlier so all that extra features was showing us but right now none because we have deleted all the plugins because those are some unnecessary plugins okay after you will do this just go to users from users you can add people to your website or people who will going to register in your website all details will going to show inside users then settings if you will click on general so friends here you just need to make sure that you select anyone can register to your website and here you can put the site title so right now you can see if you will click here if you will right click and open it in a new tab so right now it is ghapaghap just another wordpress site so if you will change here to let's say something called as bing commerce or if you will write here nothing if you will click on save changes now again just go to your website just refresh your website now you will see that headline will going to go because we have removed everything from here now after you will do this just select your time zone so for example my time zone is 5 30 because i live in india according to your time zone you can select that again click on save changes now one most important thing in your website after installing ssl if still it will show not secure so the reason behind that can be http if it will show not secure listen very carefully if it will show not secure then here it can be just written as http http okay in your case when it will go not when when it will show not secure so to make your site secure even after you have installed ssl certificate so you just need to add s here add small s okay add s then add s after you will do this just scroll down and then click on save changes after you will do that it will going to tell you about your username and password again after you will put that you will again come to your this setting path and you will be able to see your connection is secure okay but in my case it was already written s so i don't have any issue but in your case if it will show at top not secure so you just need to add s here in these two just add s after http on both even if it will going to show secure also you just need to add s here very simple and then click on save changes then it will show to login again put your username and password again come to your website okay but you just need to remember one thing that you need to add s after http after you will do this here you will see these permalinks if you will go here and just click on permalinks here make sure that it is selected to post name okay if in your case it can be selected as plain day and name etc etc make sure that it must be selected to post name after you will do this just click on save changes so this was some general settings which we have done right now again just go to your dashboard now our website is 100 percent ready to go now you can do whatever you want to do in your wordpress website if you again want to visit your website dashboard just type the domain name that is kapagha.in after you will going to write your domain name just add wp-admin and then click on enter you will again come to your wordpress dashboard it can even ask you to put your username and password then after you will put that you can come to your wordpress dashboard okay we have acquired web hosting and domain now we have to make our email address professional email address whatever plan you have taken in hosting right so in that plan you can create one email account for absolutely free if you have taken very basic plan but if you have taken 
business web hosting or any premium high plan then you can create almost unlimited emails you just need to go to your hosting world panel just type hpanel.hostingware.com here you can see we have this hosting option just click on hosting and from hosting whatever website you have just click on the domain so for example in my case i will take this kapagab.in just click on manage then just scroll down scroll down at emails you guys will going to see we have this email accounts just click here and from here you can create almost unlimited emails you want to for example here you can write support so what your complete email will become support at the rate kapagab.in so whatever domain you have just put anything like help support contact whatever you want to write you can write it and then you have to put password after you will put password just click on create so now friends you can see your support at the rate dhapagab.in has been created now you can send emails with this so to do this just search here or you can see here mail.hostinger.com you can just here search here mail.hostinger.com just click on enter or you can also come from here mail.hostinger.com and from here whatever have so you have support at the rate Kappa, gap, dot, in. okay so this was the domain we have just now created this was the domain you just have to copy this email address just paste it here paste your password here and then click on login so this is your mail hostinger.com so from here you can manage emails you can receive emails so whenever someone will going to contact you in this support at the rate you will going to see this message here for example if i will open gmail i will click on compose to whom so your client can write your support email so this was the support so whenever your client will just write here your email address he will going to write the subject hi blah 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 and when he will going to click on send you will be going to receive that message here after some minutes just click on refresh then you guys will going to see that message here okay similarly if you want to write to someone mail you can click on compose and here for example you want to send to me kunal loanhari.co.in or kunal loanhari 23 at the rate gmail.com write the subject write blah 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 whatever you want click on send now you guys will going to see you that message will go and this was the message we have, which you have sent from your gmail you have received that message similarly if you will click on send so now one email has been sent okay so if you will just refresh it so you can see we have got this message support from support at the rate kapagab.in so hope you guys have somehow understood how you can create email account in hostinger similarly if you have taken very high plan then you can almost create unlimited emails if you want to delete this you can delete it super simple to understand right so now we first have to install the theme so theme is generally the appearance or look of your website if you will hover on agency right click on visit site open it in a new tab you can see this is how your website is looking right now so just go to your wordpress dashboard from appearance click on themes now you can see currently we have this 2021 theme activated so that's why our website is looking like this for example if you will now activate this 2019 theme so now you can see 2019 theme is activated now if you will refresh your website you will see the look of your website will going to change but in this case we do not require any of this theme we need to add new free theme so just click on add new from here just search ocean wp you will see this theme just click on install then click on activate now you can see this ocean wp theme is activated just refresh your website now you will see the look of your website will going to change now we have to delete all the unnecessary themes so make sure that whenever you run any wordpress website so if you have some extra themes so kindly delete that theme because they will going to take space and whenever any visitor will come to your website it will going to not load fast so your website will not going to load fast so your visitors will going to leave your website so it is better that whatever theme which we are not using you should delete that theme so to delete any theme just click here click on this delete button from bottom click on ok similarly just delete all these unnecessary th themes now from here ocean wp you guys will going to see enable auto update so make sure you click here so now whenever any new update will going to come to this theme it will automatically going to get updated right so you don't have to do anything manually so guys in this way we have installed theme for our wordpress website so just go to your dashboard now
Now guys, another important thing we have to do is to add plugins to our WordPress website. So these plugins will going to help you to add amazing features to your WordPress website. So just go to plugins, click on installed plugins. So right now you will see that you will not going to have probably uh, any plugin. So you just need to click on add new. So in simple guys, plugins helps you to add features to your website. So for example, if you want some feature which you want to add in your WordPress website, just search for that feature. There will be many plugins that will going to help you to add that specific feature which you want it to include in your WordPress website, right? For example, if you want some spam protection plugins, so just search for spam protection, you will see there you will find tons of plugins that will going to help you to protect your website from spam. So you can use any of these plugins. It's totally up to you. It will going to help you to protect your WordPress website from spam. But in this case, we do not want uh, this thing. So the first thing we need to do is to we need to install one plugin that is Elementor Website Builder. We can install it from here, but we will going to install free from their official website because when we install from here, so some of the features you will not going to get, but if you will install from their official Elementor website, so you will most probably going to get all features, right? So just search for this my dash link dot in slash elementor e l e m e n t o r so make sure that everything will be in a small letter okay so after you will type this very carefully just click on enter now you can see that you will come to their official website so here we will going to go with free version so let me show you their pricing as well just to show you so you can see this is a limited page builder that will going to help you to create website easily you can see you can just do drag and drop here you can see you just need to do drag and drop and you can create any kind of wordpress website you can see it is so simple you do not require any coding okay so this is the page builder which we will going to use we will going to use free version but let me give you uh, one overview of their paid version as well so you can uh, just come to this url by typing my dash link dot in elementor then you can also come and purchase their pro version as well so of course in paid version you will going to get more amazing features right but now let's uh, go with free version so just click on try the free version so it will be free forever now it will going to tell you to create your account so you can just create your new account from here just type your email and password and create your account i have already created so i will click on login i will log in myself now from here you can choose anything for myself for marketer okay then you can just click on skip from this top you can now again skip click on skip now they will again going to tell you to purchase their pro version so if you are interested you can just go with that but right now we will going to go with this basic version so you just need to click on this basic version for free then you have to provide your website url so here you can see uh, to check the website url in my case it is this one i will just copy it of course you can just go to your wordpress right click on the visit site and then you will see your url that means your domain uh, name actually okay so just copy this then paste the url here click on check for wordpress click on install elementor then from this bottom right you will see one button install now just click on that install now button then you will see that elementor is downloading then you just need to click on activate plugin so now you can see you have activated the plugin now again just click on add new now here just again search for elementor so when you will search for elementor now you just need to install this plugins that is essential add-ons for elementor by wp developer so just click on install now you have to install this plugin that is premium add-ons for elementor by lip 13 just click on install now so now don't activate it we will going to activate at very last okay so just now just click on install now here you will see this elementor header and footer builder by Bay, uh, brainstorm force just click on install now so after you will do this just come up and here just search for ocean wp again in plugin section ocean uh, wp now you will see this plugin that is ocean extra by ocean wp click on install now now scroll up scroll up here you will see ocean custom sidebar by ocean wp click on install now now friends you will see this one more plugin that is that is ocean social sharing by ocean wp make sure you also install uh, this plugin then after it will going to install just go up and search here contact form 
7. Just search for this. Click on install now. To this plugin that is contact form 7 by Taokushi Mayoshi. Then here you just need to search for one more plugin that is MailChimp. Just type this MailChimp. Now you will see this plugin that is MC4 WP MailChimp for WordPress by Ivory Court. Just click on install now. So after you will install all these plugins, just click on this installed plugins. Now guys from here you will see all the plugins which we have installed. Now you just need to click on this area of box. Just click here every plugin will be selected from bulk action select activate click on apply uh, now it may show this interface so just click on uh, skip setup for now or just again go to uh, installed plugins by here now you will see all your plugins will be activated now just again click here on this box all plugins will be selected from bulk action click on enable auto updates click on apply so now so now all your plugins will be auto enabled that means whenever any new update will going to come to these plugins it will automatically going to update so you don't have to do it manually so you have done all the things and you have successfully installed all the plugins then just go to dashboard click on dashboard so now we will going to create some important pages now guys let me tell you what is pages so you can see that this is my one website so you can see this home courses lifetime so these are all the pages right here also you can see these are all the pages so website is made up of different different pages now i just want to tell you one thing that you can just go to this website myacademy.beingcommerce.in website right just click on enter then you will come to this website now guys here in the courses section you can also take our courses right you can see the all the udemy courses we have provided here we also have lifetime plan so you can take our lifetime plan so we will going to provide you access to all our existing courses we have plus we will also going to provide you free access whenever we will going to launch new course so we will also going to provide you free access to that new course as well so this is a benefit of this lifetime plan right so you can just check out this website many people from our udemy they are coming here uh, to our website and they are taking benefits because here the prices are all fixed if you will go with a uh, us dollar so you can see all the prices are fixed to, to one price right so in case uh, if you udemy will going to uh, stop promotion so you can just come to our website and you can take that course from here and we will going to update the course in our website at very first fast support and there are plenty of things you will going to get from our official website so please make sure that you just type very carefully everything in a small letter academy.beingcommerce.in just come to this website and take advantage of our official website courses okay so this was just a general knowledge which i want to tell you now we were talking about pages right so now we also have to create pages for our website so so pages plays very important uh, role to make any website so just go to pages click on all pages now you will see that uh, this is a sample page so you can remove this sample page you can just click on this trash then you can just go to trash and from here you can delete it permanently so in this way you can delete any pages now if you want to add new pages just click on add new now here you just need to write home now from content layout make it to 100% full width from title just click on this title make it disable click on publish once again click on publish now you can see that we have published one page so you can see uh, you are getting this view page option so just right click open it in a new tab now you will see that this is your home page so now it will uh, it will show completely blank right do not worry we will do lot many customization now to again go to your wordpress website you just need to click on this wordpress logo just click here now again just click on add new now you can just click on now you can just write blogs or blog anything like that so in this page we will put all our blogs right now again just go to content layout choose full width go to title disable it click on publish click on publish again go to your wordpress by clicking on this logo now just click on add new now here you can write about us select default again full width title disable it click on publish click on publish so now guys we have to create more uh, pages like this so just follow me and create all the pages which i am creating again click on add new now you can write contact a space so with the help of this page people can contact you just click on default 100 percent full width go to title disable it publish it publish it again go to your wordpress website now just click now again just click on add new now here just search faq click on default 100 percent full width go to title disable it again click on publish click on publish go to your wordpress again click on add new now just write here app app development 
again put to full width go to title disable it click on publish click, click on publish again go to your wordpress click on add new now here write content marketing choose full width to 100% full width title disable it click on publish click on publish again go to your wordpress again click on add new now you can write our services click 100% full width go to title disable it click on publish click on publish go to wordpress website now just click on add new again now just go to ppc advertising choose 100% full width title to disable click on publish click on publish again go to your wordpress website now again click on add new now right here SEO optimization put content layout to full width title to disable click on publish click on publish go to your wordpress dashboard again again just click on add new click on add new now you can write social marketing 100% full width title disable click on publish click on publish again just go to your wordpress then click on add new now here you just need to write terms and conditions page select to full width go to title disable it click on publish click on publish again go to your wordpress now click on add new now search here web development choose 100% full width title disable it click on publish click on publish and then go to your wordpress now guys you can see that we have created all the important and necessary pages that we will going to use in our wordpress website right so now in future if we require to create more pages we will going to create it but this are the pages which we initially require right so after you will follow me and create your pages you are ready to go then you can just click on dashboard now guys we have to connect our pages so as you all know that in pages we have created all the pages so now you can see that we have this blog page and our home page now if i will teach you so when you will go to my blogging website blog.beingcommerce.in so friends whenever you write any domain name on your browser of any website and when you will go to that website so the first page or first look of that website where you will going to come is called as home page in your blog page when i will click on this blog page so here all your blogs will going to show right like this now this is the blogging website if you also want to know how you can create this type of amazing professional blogging website here you can put your ads when people will click on this ad you will going to make money so if you want to create this type of professional blogging website so i have also provided link of this course at very down in bonus lesson of this course so make sure you guys check that course and you can also learn to create one professional blogging website now you can see that in this website when i will click on home so here in the home page all the overview of your business will going to show like your blogs your work deals and promos or anything which you want to show for example here i have shown you this website that is academy.beingcommerce.in so whenever you will type academy.beingcommerce.in in browser and click on enter you will come to this page at very first time so this page will going to consider as home page right now also one more thing if you also want to create this type of online course website professional online course website so i have also made one course on that at very bonus section at very down on this course i have provided the link on how you can create online course website so if you are interested you can also check that courses or you can just come to my website and here also you can go to courses you can go to web development and you can purchase any web development course like creating professional web design course personal branding website drop shipping website affiliate website e-commerce website online course website right so there are many courses that is related to this blogging uh, course website so these are the courses which i have in my website you can free to come to my website and you can take these courses and there are many courses email marketing affiliate marketing entrepreneurship design and animation courses and there are many more right so if you are interested to create this blogging and online courses website or any online course website so please go to my udemy profile from udemy also you can buy or you can just directly come to my website and you can also purchase it right so now the important thing is that now you come to know that what is home page and what is blog page right so whenever someone will type your domain name in web browser they will first go to the home page but right now your website does not know what is your home page so we have to tell to our website which is our home page and blog page so to do this just go to settings click on reading from here you guys will going to see your uh, home page display just select this uh, static page from here home page just select to uh, home page from post page that means your blog page so now you are telling to your website that my home page is this home page which we have created and our post page is our blog page uh, which we have created now whenever someone will type your web, uh, website url in browser they will first going to come to your home page right so after you will do this just click on save changes so after you will do this just go to dashboard so now we have successfully connected our home page and blog page
now guys we will going to teach you how you can write post or i can say blogs for your website now to write blogs you just need to go to post click on all posts now here you will see by default hello world will be going to show so you can again just delete it just go to trash go to trash click on delete permanently it is successfully deleted now to add new post just click on add new now you can write here blogs right so now what you can do you can just type uh, bing commerce then you will see most probably our website that is bing commerce.in so just click on this website from here you can just hover here and you can just go to any of our website so from here you can just go to latest blog guides click on read more so you will come to our blogging website so now uh, just to take reference i am teaching you so guys for example if you want this image so just right click and click on save image as now friends this is the image which i will also going to provide you just to show you guys how to write blogs i am just uh, taking preference but, but please do not copy from here otherwise you will going to get copyright strike just right click let's take this image as well also take this image as well so now you are just downloading these images also take this image for example right so now i just want to teach you how you can write blog so for example the first image uh, we have taken was this one let let's take this five mistakes to avoid uh, creating landing page so you can just write title so whatever title you will going to write here in your blog at very top it will going to show here at very top and whatever body you want to write so just for a demo purpose i am just copying it from here this much so here you can write your blogs now guys see listen just one important thing i have attached one link with this lesson so when you will click on that link so you can watch one 40 minutes video so that video will going to teach you how to write perfect article for your website because i do not want to waste your time by teaching you how you can write blogs and everything like this i have already made one complete video i have attached the video link in this video's description so please watch that video so after you will watch that video you will learn how to create blogs how to write articles how to write or find headline how to write blogs how to put images in your blogs so all the all that information you will going to see there right also now you when you will click on post you can see right now the featured image i will click on this featured image i will just going to upload one image just for demo purpose uh, let's say this is the image right just to teach you guys so this is the image right now just click on publish click on publish now if you will view your post from here so right now you can see this is how your post will going to look right but as i have always said you just click on edit post in this this course is about building website right not about writing blogs so please make sure you guys watch that video i have attached the video link in this lesson so after you will watch that video you will learn each and everything that means how you can write blogs like this amazing blogs on page seo off page seo so everything will be taught in that website so please watch that website very carefully so guys in this way you can write blogs or articles right so again just go to wordpress so you can see that i have written one blog so now you can write more blogs from here so for example i click on add new now i'm just copying uh, from my website because i want to save time let's open this blog just write just let me write this blog your blog and from post you can put your featured image then click on publish click on publish now you will see this is the another blog that has been created so similarly you can create as many as blog you want to again just go to your wordpress so now you can see we have created two blogs so this is just a demo uh, blog but just to teach you guys you can just go to add new create your blogs by watching that video right so in this way you guys can create blogs for your website so now guys we will going to create menus for our website so now you can see that these are the menus at very top all your pages will going to show so we have created pages so now we have to show that pages in this top menu right so how you can do that so just go to appearance click on menus from menu name just write main menu like this then click on create menu then from screen option make sure that you guys have enabled this one and everything right now from all pages you guys can now select home blog about us contact us our service click on add to menu now 
first is showing home now second is showing blog now we have to show our services after blog so you can just drag it just drag it here our services then about us then contact us then you can select menu that means main menu then click on save menu now if you will just go to your website so just right click open your website in a new tab now you can see this home blog our services about us and contact us will going to show here of course we will further do lots of customization here so do not worry just follow this course step by step do not skip anything okay now guys what we need to do we have to add one thing that when someone will hover on our services we want to show them all our services so now here you can see the web development that means just click on view all and from here just select app development whatever service you provide app development content marketing ppc advertising seo optimization social marketing web development then click on add to menu so now you can see that everything has been added now what you need to do first of all you have this content marketing right so you can just drag the content marketing in this our services section so just drag do not put here just put it just little bit backward like this okay now whenever someone will hover on our services it will show your content marketing similarly you have to put social marketing also here that means here app development also here web development also here ppc advertising from here and search engine optimization from here now you just need to click on save menu now you guys can just refresh your website now you will see that our uh, services is showing this arrow so here all your services will going to list okay so this is the thing which we have created now that is the main menu so now we have created the main menu right right so now we have to create some footer menus now how the footer menus looks like so you can see at very bottom we have these menus right if you will let me show you just go to academy.beancommerce.in for example so at very bottom you can see that we have this menu right so these are the footer menus and at very top you can see these are the main menu which we have created here now we have to create this footer menus right so just go to menus here you will see create a new menu link just click there from here just right here footer to right footer to then just click on create menu now here just click on view all and here you have to show all the services like for example in our services at very main menu we have shown content social app so now you have to show all these things here so just select content app or i can say first second or social right so just first select all your services web development then click on add to menu now you can just arrange it for example you can now show seo optimization so no uh, necessary whatever you want to show you can just show it then just you can show ppc then you can show web development right so like this you can just arrange whatever you want uh, not necessary then just click on save menu now you have to create one more footer menu so just click on this create a new menu again now you can just write here footer 3 click on create menu now in footer 3 you can just again click on view all now from here you guys can select for example about us contact us faq our services terms and condition so these are the things uh, which you can select in the footer 3 just click on add to menu click on save menu now guys there is one more page i guess we have forgotten to publish it just go to pages click on all pages now just scroll up here you guys will going to see we have this privacy policy so just click on this edit button we have to publish it just click on publish publish again go to your wordpress now again just go to appearance go to menus this was the footer 3 right so you can also add now just click on view all now you will also see privacy policy click on add to menu now everything is okay now you can just click on save menu so now guys we have successfully created all the menus especially footer menus okay now you can just go to dashboard now guys we will going to create our top menus and headers and footers now what is this so you can see that very uh, i have taught you what is me uh, menus right so these are the menus pages you have learned these are the pages and this is the menu and the top bar is considered as this you can see here my social icons are showing at very top this is complete header right so how you can create this top menus and headers also let me give you example with my shop website so you just click on shop with us just click on shop now so here you will see that we have at top bar this this settings and here we have headers so actually you are understanding that top bar is area above your header so this is your header this part is your header so above header this is your toolbar right so how you can create this header and toolbar now guys one mistake i guess we have done is that just go to appearance go to menus from here just select this and select main menu click on select 
now here make sure you guys untick it and then click on save menu now you can see here that un under appearance you will see this elemental header and footer builder just select this now from here just click on add new click on skip you can write top bar and headers from select option you can choose to header now it will show you where you want to display it so i want to display it to entire website now you just need to click on publish so now guys you have to just click on edit with elementor now now guys we have to design our headers and top bars now just want to say you that we have provided you this file as you all know so here you will see this headers and top bars when you will select this so here we have provided you this color code so we will going to use this color code okay to design our headers and top bars so now guys we have to customize our toolbar and header so you just need to click on plus button select two column from here then to go to elements just click on this nine dots at very top just follow my cursor just click here now from heading just drag the heading here on this box from here you can just write follow us so after you will do this you just need to go to a style from a style just click on a style from here you guys can choose any color so you can see that whatever color we will going to change here it will change to that color but here we have provided you this colors this color so just copy this color of course it's totally up to you first of all remove it so now it's totally up to you whatever color you want to go with you can go with that color so after you will do this now comes typography so with the help of typo typography you can change the designs and looks of text so from here family you can just choose to this font so just change and search here poppins just search for poppins put size to 18 put weight so now weight will make this text look more bold so for example if you will choose 100 so now you can see it has become very light now if you will increase it to let's say 500 so it will become bold so for this purpose we use weight right so after you will do this you just need to go to advance you have to unlink the value together and from the top you can make it to 8 so what will going to happen when you will increase margin so you can see that text will come uh, that uh, column will come down so right now we will go with 8 okay so now to go to elements so just again click on this 9 dot so whenever you will click on 9 dots you will again come to this element section so now we have to drag social icon so just search here social these are the social icons now just drag the social icons here like this so now you can see only facebook twitter and youtube is available if you want to add let's say instagram so just click on that add item from wordpress you can change it to let's say instagram even you can put pinterest click on insert so now you can see that pinterest is also added now you can just drag this items like here like this okay so for example my youtube link is this one so my you can see that this is my youtube link so i will just click on youtube i will paste my youtube link so now when someone will click on this youtube it will take them to my youtube page similarly you can change facebook just put your facebook link similarly you can add instagram whatever you want to you can add that so after you will do this you have to make this to left see when you will click on left it will come left if you will put it to right it will come right now in this scenario make it to left and then just go to style from official color you can choose to custom so from the primary color you can make it to white and secondary color you can make it to blue so just remove it paste the same code which was this dark blue okay so after you will do this you can make the size to let's say 16 you can make the spacing to 5 okay now you can just click on this icon over and from the primary color you can make it to white now actually what will going to happen see whenever someone will click on this so it will change the hover color right and from secondary color you can make it to dark red so you can see that we have provided you this color code so just copy it paste it here and now you can choose the hover and if uh, animation to grow so now you can see we have selected the secondary color as red so whenever someone will click on your icon it will turn to red right with this uh, you can see grow animation because we have chosen grow animation if you will choose something else shrink so now it will going to shrink right so it's totally up to you whatever you want to you can go with that now guys here you can see that we have put only two columns so now here when you will click on this box or if you will hover your mouse on this block you will see here this black icon right so just just click on that black icon right click and click on add new column now you can see one more column has been added now just click on elements from here just search icon just drag the icon list here you can remove this last two now just click on this icon and from here you guys can provide your phone number so for example in india we have plus nine one so i have provided my phone number and now you just need to click on this icon library and from here you can just search for phone you can choose this icon for example click on insert now you can see that this icon of phone has been inserted right now you just need to go to style from alignment make it to right so it will go to right and then just click on icon 
from color you can put dark blue so just remove it this was the dark blue copy this paste it here like this make sure that your size must be 14 and now just click on text change the text color remove it again paste the dark color code now just go to typography from here you can again just choose to pop pins make size to 14 make sure weight must be 400 now it is looking absolutely right so now guys here in this box you will see that again this black button just follow my cursor this black button now you just need to right click now you just need to right click and click on duplicate again just right click on this box again click on duplicate now just click on this second column and from here just select this now you can just add your email for example mail at the rate gmail.com so whatever mail you want to add you can put that mail here from the icon just search here mail select this click on insert then just click on this last box from here you guys can click on this box and here you can write the address so you can see that you have written your address now everything is looking great so now you can see this is how your top bar is looking right also guys uh, make sure that you guys change this to house uh, icon so now uh, it will show your house icon right now guys you just need to click on this box you can see this black so just go to first column and put uh, click on this black edit section from here you can put it to 10 from this section you can make it to 21 you can make uh, now just click on this section uh, this edit button of this third column and from here you can make it to 35 now just click on this fifth uh, black edit box from here you can make it to 17 just go to this box from here you can make it to 16 point let's say 99 now you can see guys it is looking just amazing okay now guys whatever changes you will going to make make sure that you guys click on update so please keep on happy to update your page so that whatever changes you will going to make here it will not going to lose okay now at very bottom you guys will going to see that we have this responsive mode just click here now you will see this is how your toolbar is looking in desktop now if you will try to look it in mobile so just click on this mobile icon so now you can see it is looking very bad in mobile so now let's fix it now guys just click on at very top of this edit button this black edit column and you can just make it 30 and just click on this second column of this social and from here you can make it to 63 now you can just click on this third box and you can make it to 49 you can now click on this mail edit and you can make it to 47 now guys we need to decrease the size of all these elements so just first just click on this first box of followers go to style go to typography from here make it to 14 now just click on this social element box go to style put the size to 14 now just click on this box go to text from this text just click on typography and make it to 12 now guys here in this box you will going to see that we have this edit button so just right click copy it now you will see this box just right click and click on paste style again just click on this address column right click on pencil click on paste style now click on this address one go to style make it to center now guys you just need to click on update now you can see that everything is looking fine in mobile so now you can see that in your desktop it will look like this in your mobile it will look like this now let's see how it will going to look in your tablet so now you can see in tablet it is looking weird so now let's fix it now guys again just click on this followers and from here just click on this black box click here make it to 50 and from social icon just click on this black and make it to 30 phone number just click on this phone number black box and make it to 32 from the mail just click on this black edit setting from here you can make it to 28 and now just click on this address and make it to 30 now you can just click on update so now you can see that in your desktop it will look like this in your mobile it will look like this and now in your uh, tablet it will going to look like this okay so now it is looking amazing now guys just go to desktop now you can just click on this close to close this responsive mode now from this edit just click on these six dots just click here go to style go to background type choose the color remove it now copy this code that is f3 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 paste it here so now guys this is how uh, it, it is looking then just click on update so now we have finally designed our toolbar now guys let's design our header so to design our header just click on this plus button select two column now just click on this element nine dots now from here just search logo now here you will see the site logo just drag this site logo here now guys you can switch on this custom image you can just upload your logo 
now you can just go to style from here you can choose pixel and from here you guys can just manage your logo like this from width max width okay right so you can just make it to 150 for example you can also make it to 150 but of course if you want you can decrease it as well it's totally up to you whatever size according to your logo you want you can keep that now just go to content make the al uh, alignment to left so now your logo will going to appear at left now go to advance untick it make the left to minus 20 make sure that it is minus 20 okay now you can see this is how your logo will going to look now now you can just click on this element from here this nine dots from here you can just search for menu now you will see this navigational menu so just drag on this column and from the menu just choose to main menu now guys you can see you can make this button uh, in in a button look so just click on button so now it will going to give you this button design now just click on layout make it to right now some menu icons uh, which is this icon so you can make it to plus you can make it to classic as well now guys you can make the sub animation to slide up now you can see it is looking default so nothing is happening but when you will choose slide up now you can see this is how it will going to slide up you can see like this okay wow now from responsive you can make this breakpoint to mobile now you can click on style now here you will see this link over effect so you can make it to underline so you can see this is how this underline effect will going to come you can see wherever I'm clicking it is showing this underline effect animation you can make it to drop in so now you can see you will going to get this drop in animation now from typography just click on this typography make family to poppins make size to 18 so after you will do this you just need to click on this text color you have to remove this one now we have provided you this dark black code just copy it paste it here now it will going to give you dark black color now you will see hover option here so make sure that you choose red color so here is the red color so just copy this now text just click on this text color remove it paste your red one now select this one remove it put to red color okay now from drop down just click on this drop down just click on this typography here you can make this family to poppings and make the size to 14 and here you will see now the menu triggers and close icon now from this color just select this remove it copy dark blue paste dark blue here now click on hover remove it copy this red color code paste it here now click on buttons click on typography make family to poppins now from text now you can just go with now just click on this background type choose the color to dark blue just copy this dark blue code paste it here now you can just click on this text color and you can make it to white like this now click on this hover make the text color to white and now you can make this background type color to red now guys after you will do this you just need to click on this black box here and from here you guys can make it to 60 now you can see that you are getting very good header okay so now guys after you will do this just click on update now we have to see with how it is looking in mobile and desktop so again click on this responsive mode now let's first see how it is looking in mobile so now you can see it is not looking great now guys just click on this logo go to advance until this logo now from the menu just click on this black setting of this menu go to advance or just go to layout from here you can make it to 15 now you can again just click on this logo black settings you can make it to 85 now okay so now you can see it is looking absolutely amazing now let's see how it will going to look in tablet so make sure first you update it now go to tablet now this is how it, uh, where it is looking in tablet as well so let's fix it now again just click on this logo go to advance untick this one now from this logo just click on this black setting make it to 21 so after you will do this now you just need to click on this pencil button of this column now just go to style go to typography and make the size to 14 okay after you will do this just go to advance untick this put the right to 90 but make sure that you add minus minus 90 right that means you have to put here minus 90 now from this menu just click on this edit from here you can make it to 65 now you can see it is looking amazing so after you will do this you have to do one more uh, thing that you just need to click on update now just go to desktop now you can just close this responsive mode now guys just click on this edit button of this column by clicking on these six dots go to style go to background type click on color remove it copy this background color code paste the background color code here then just click on update so now you can see that we have completely set up our top bar and header
now guys we will going to design the footer of our website okay so as i have told you that in very bottom your footer of your website sh shows okay so now we will going to design that so to do that just go to your wordpress website now from here you guys can just go to uh, appearance click on elements headers and footer builder now from here you can just click on add new now guys you can write here footer now you can say where you want to display it so we want for footer and we want to display in our entire website then you you just need to click on publish after you will click on publish you just need to now click on edit with elementor now guys you just need to click on plus button select the one column click on elements drag the heading here now guys here you can write keep in touch you can write this here then make it to center align then just go to style now just go to typography from here just select pop-ins make the size to 24 make sure weight is selected to 600 now guys you can just click on this uh, edit of this six dots of this section then just go to style click on background type choose the color to dark blue now you can make this text color just click on this edit button now make the text color to white now guys you just need to click on elements now just drag social so just search for social buttons so here you can see the social icons drag it here you can add more social icon for example let me add instagram and pinterest let me add pinterest as well click on add item let's now choose for pinterest also now guys as you all know that you have to put link uh, of your social media here now make the shape to circle make the column to six make it to center align now just go to style make the color to custom now you can make the primary color to dark blue and make the secondary color to white now make the size 40 make paddling to 0 0.5 make it spacing to 21 make row gap to 6 now click on icon hover make the secondary color to white now you can see this is how uh, white effect it will going to come here now guys in hover uh, you can just select float now guys just click on this plus button now select three columns now what you can do you can just right click on this dot click on copy now just right click on this six dots and click on paste style now guys you can click on elements and here you can just search for site logo so here you will see the site logo option drag it here choose to custom image now here you can just upload your logo okay now guys you can make the alignment to left you can go to style now you can make the width to 200 but make sure that you choose here pixel okay so pixel must be 200 also you can make the max width to 200 now guys just click on elements now just drag the text editor below your logo now here you have to write about uh, yourself about your agency okay then click on style make it to left align make the text color to complete white now guys from typography you can make uh, it to pop ins make the size to 16 M make sure that weight is selected to 400 now guys you can just now right click and you can just uh, copy this keep in touch okay make sure you copy the keep in touch now just come to this box right click click on paste now in place of keep in touch you can write use useful links you can make it to now you can make it to left align go to style go to typography make the transform to capitalize now guys just click on elements now search for divider drag the divider here just uh, below useful links now you can make this uh, divider to left align go to style you can make the weight to 5 you can make the gap to 2 also in content you can make the width to 41 now you need to go to advanced now untick it in top just add minus 12 now go to style make the color to white now guys just click on elements now you just need to search navigational menu so here you will see this navigational menu so just drag it below the uh, divider here okay now just go to content now you can make it to center now just click on this navigational now just click on this navigational menu click on layout from here you can make it to just from responsive you can make it to none now go to style make sure that horizontal paddling and vertical paddling must be 15 now guys make the text color to white now guys from typography make the family to poppins make the size to 18 and make the weight to 500 now guys just go to advanced untick it make the left to minus 15 so guys just click on this column make sure uh, to make it to 37 only okay now in second you can also make it to 33 so now it will look like this so in case if uh, any of this will create trouble for example if you will select this one just click here now if you find that something is weird here okay so you can also just adjust it okay so for example here i am adjusting it so similarly you can also adjust it so now guys after you will do this just click on update
now guys what we need to do uh, we need uh, we need to go to customize setting so just copy the url of your domain name paste it now you can see this is how your website will going to look now here at very top you guys will going to see this customize button click on this customize button now just go to general options now go to general styling click on primary color make this color to home page red and make the hover primary color dark blue okay now just publish it go back go back now just click on typography go to gen uh, go to body make sure that font uh, family must be selected to pop pins make the font color to white make it to white complete then click on publish go back now go back go to general setting now just click on this form input text area now from here make sure that you choose the label color to white now make sure that you make the top to 6 right to 0 now make the font size to 10 now guys from this make sure you choose to 70 to make the left to 2 in this border uh, width now make the border radius to 40 now make the border color to white now in border color you can make it to red or just make this border color um, to white okay now just make this border color focus to red now choose the border color we have provided you this border color here paste that color code here okay now click on publish now go back now click on this theme buttons here take first of all everything and make everything to 12 make this border radius to 40 make the background color to red make the background color to dark blue now click on publish go back go back click on footer widgets disable it click on publish go back now click on footer bottoms disable it click on publish go back so guys after you will do this so now guys why we uh, done this because we are using elementor page builder so we don't want default footer okay now go to this now go to your footer elementor now guys uh, we will going to add form here you can of course use mailchimp so just go to this element section and just search for mailchimp you will see this mailchimp uh, sign up form here or what you can do you can also add this mailchimp option here so it will going to display the title just update it now this is a preview change so just click here now it will show you how it will going to look so now you can also do that but right now in this case i will going to use motic now motic is a email application system which is completely free so if you have heard about email marketing and if you know some software like mailchimp like for example if i will go to mailchimp now if you will go to their pricing now you can see that their premium plan will going to cost you 23,000 per month okay in Indian currency now let me show you rupees 23,000 in dollars will going to cost you 300 dollars so that is very expensive but in Motic, you will going to get all these premium features which this MailChimp will going to provide you for absolutely free. You just need to install Motic on your server, that means on your hosting, and then you can use this email system. You can sell automatic emails with 100% delivery rate, right? So this is very effective way which I am using in my own business. You can see that there are tons of people I have in this email marketing system. Here I will going to go to forms. Now guys, Ocean Arises how you can get this Motic application if you want to so it's totally free okay so i have provided and made this course so you can just go to my website academy.bingcommerce.in so just go to this website now from this website just click on courses and from here you guys can search for email marketing now here you will see this complete Motic email marketing course. So just take this course and learn each and everything about Motic. We have taught you how you can set up Motic and how you can use Motic. So this is a complete guide. Okay. So you can just go to my website academy.bingcommerce.in. Make sure everything will be in small letters. So when you will come to my this website, you can just come to this course and you can learn each and everything about Moti. Okay, so it's very simple to install because you guys already have purchased hosting, right? Now you just need to install this email application in your hosting only. So that is very great, right? So from here, I will going to choose this one this form you can create any form from here i will click on automatic i will copy this code i will go to footer i will choose here for now custom html i will paste the code here now i will click on update now i will click on preview changes so now you can see that i have got this box so here people can put their first name their email address and they can click on i am excited to sign up okay also of course you can do some further customization just click here and from here you guys can just search or type this above your custom html you can type here now guys you can write this text here 
then you can just go to style you can make it to center align or make it to left make it to a white color from text color from typography you can just increase the size make it bold or make it to 500 make it to poppins now click on update now once again try to preview it so you can see now this is how it will going to look very amazing okay also guys you can add one more thing just drag the heading at the very top here you can write subscribe to our newsletter then you can just copy this you can click on paste style so now it is looking great then click on update now guys you can also uh, copy this divider which is here just copy it just paste it here if you will find that divider will come uh, here so you can just drag this divider up here okay so now everything is looking great so now guys from here what you can do you can just click on this top here on this six dots go to style go to shape divider go to bottom from here you guys can choose a split click on bring to front now click on this six dots here go to advanced untick it from pedaling you can make it to 16 now again just go to style same step to be followed click on shape divider click on bottom from here choose split click on bring to front then click on update now guys we will going to add two more column of two sections we can click on this edit section and we can go to style and we can choose background color we can choose the color dark blue now go to advance unpedal it make it to 15 okay now guys just search for navigational menu which is here now guys this is a navigational menu so you guys just need to drag it here make it to footer 3 now guys you can just click on copy this menu and paste the style to this menu so it will look like this now just go to style make the typography to 15 now guys again just search for elements search for copyright drag this copyright here now guys what you can do you can just click on this black box here you can choose to 70 now you can click on this copyright from here you can make it to right you can change the color to white now guys you can just click on ad uh, advanced untick it at 10 margin here now guys just click on update now you need to check it in mobile how it is looking in mobile so you can see you can also make some uh, it to responsive mode so for example you can click on keep in touch you can decrease the size to 12 or 15 you can click on this social go to content choose three or you can click on uh, three only okay you can also add one more here for example wordpress you can also add twitter from here for example click here search for twitter insert it okay now you can see your logo you can see your text you can make it to middle here is the useful link from here just go to content make it to center also make the divider to center now it is looking amazing click on subscribe to our newsletter make it to center go to style go to typography increase the line height make the divider to middle you can also make the uh, this text to middle okay so now you can see everything is looking amazing you can click here you can go to content and you don't have to do anything here just click on this copyright from here just go to content make it to middle now it is looking fine in mobile now click on update now just see in tablet now guys you can also customize it uh, however you want to for example you can click on this black box you can just increase it of course okay to this much now you can click on this box you can now increase it okay for example i'm increasing this box to 38 now here is the useful links even if you want to you can make it to this much okay to 50 you can click on this box now you can also increase the width so now you can see it is looking great you can click on the useful links you can make it to middle you can also make the divider to middle now subscribe to our newsletter so you can just make it to middle you can also make the line to middle okay now you can just click on this black box from here if you want you can even increase it you can see this is how you can increase it so increase it increase it to 100 and you can make it to center now you can see it is looking very great now in tablet okay then just click on update so now guys we have totally customized it in our mobile desktop and tablet now if you will go to the domain so for example my domain is agency.beancommerce.in so just type the domain name where you have installed wordpress and make your website so when you will scroll down here you can see at very bottom that your footer is now showing very amazing okay so we have finally designed our footer so now guys you can see that we have created our home page okay now guys we will going to create our blog page so right now when you will click on blog you can see this is how it is looking so we need to customize it okay so first of all go to your elementor home page builder okay now guys you just need to right click on this six dots click on save as template here you can write our blog click on save 
So now guys, after you will do this, you just need to go to appearance, click on elements, header and footer builder. Now guys, from here, you guys will going to see this footer and top bar and header which we have created. So you just need to right click on edit with elementor and open both of them like this so now you can see that we have opened uh, this one that is elementor top bar and header which we have created so you have to right click here you have to click on save as template now guys here you will see this option that is arrow one right click here here you will see one option of save as template and here you can write top bar social then click on save now go to this footer one which we have created and here you can just right click on this dot click on save as template here you can write footer news letter click on save also guys one more thing uh, which you can do uh, for a safe site you will see this top header and bar so here from here so from here you can just click on this right and here you can click on save as template here you can write top bar social to click on save now guys just go to your dashboard from this appearance click on elementor header and footer and click on add new now right here sidebar or you can just write here block sidebar from this just select custom block now guys here you will you will see this short code so just copy it and save it in your notepad we will going to use this short code uh, in future then click on publish then click on edit with elementor now guys from here just click on this plus select first column click on elements here just search search for search now just drag uh, this one here from input box select to input box with button from here you can just write search for and from here make the size to 30 then click on style make typography to poppings now from here text color you can make it to black in place of placeholder color just put dark blue and click on focus from placeholder color just choose to red now go to normal click on background color to white and in border style make it to solid now guys from border color you have to remove this color and you will see we have provided you this uh, color just paste this color here in place of border color okay and put the border width to 6 now click on button make the icon color to white then click on color make it to dark blue and from hover make the icon color to white background color to red now go to normal make the icon size to 16 and make it to and make the width to 80 and from close icon make the size to 30 and from the hover put the color to red from normal put the dark color that means dark blue color now just go to elements search for divider drag the divider up to this search now put the width to 30 make the alignment to center go to style put the color to red put weight to 4.5 now click click on this search of this pencil button go to advanced now untick it in bottom just add 30 now click on this black box go to style make the background color to white now click on this border click on border shadow now click on color now here make sure that you only add one now make sure that the blur must be 12 and spread must be 3 and the horizontal and vertical must be 0 now click on this 6 dots click on advanced in margin just add 25 so now after you will do this just right click on this 6 dot duplicate it 2 times 1 2 so now whatever 2 you have duplicated you have to remove this search from here delete it delete it now guys from here you just need to click on this template click on my template and first just include this top bar social to yes now guys here you will see this followers just so just copy it and just paste it here and make the followers to center now go to style click on typography make the way to 600 make the size to 20 now similarly just copy this social come here and just paste it make it to center go to style make the size to 24 then just click on update so now guys you just need to click on this widget now you need to insert this footer newsletter click on insert yes so now guys from here you just need to click on subscribe to our newsletter copy it paste it here now you will see that it will not going to show first of all make it to center and now just click on this followers right click click on copy select here right click click on paste style now you can see that it is showing our subscribe to our newsletter now guys from here you guys will going to see that we have this thing our custom html right click click on copy go here click on paste now guys you just remove uh, everything for example this this so now you can see that we have our search bar our followers and our subscribe to newsletter then click on update now guys we need to check the responsive mode so just click on responsive mode click on mobile now click on followers we can make the followers size too big so just go to typography make it to 20 so now it is looking great similarly make the subscribe to a newsletter to 20 now make the social icon size to 24 
now click on update so now guys you just need to go to your dashboard again go to your appearance click on elementor header and footer design so now guys again just go to your wordpress dashboard now you just need to click on pages go to all pages now you will see this bl blog so just right click on edit open it in a new tab so guys in case it will not show edit with elementor so just go to settings go to reading from here just uh, click on select and just click on save changes now just click on refresh now it will show edit with elementor so just click on edit with elementor now from here just click on this template option click on my template now you will see our blog click, click on insert yes now click on this edit now you will see this carousel disable enable carousel now from general make sure that it is selected to two and make sure that post per page must be selected to four now guys here you will see this pagination option click on enable pagination now guys we need to add one more sidebar so just right click on this black box click on add new column click on this black box make the column width to 30 now guys you just need to click on this nine dots just click on short code you will see this option just drag it here now i have told you that you need to use the short code which which you have pasted in your notepad so just copy it paste the short code here now click on this edit bar now go to style now click on button now make the color to red and make the background color to white now click on hover make the color to white make the background color to blue now go to paddling untick it make it to 14 from top bottom also 14 now click on pagination click on typography make family to poppins and make the size to 15 now make the color to red make the background color to white now from hover make the color to white make the background color to dark blue this one now click on active make the background color to dark blue and make the color to white now click on normal make the border type to dot it make the width to 2 make the border radius 20 make the color black now from margin at 7 from paddling at 8 then click on update so now guys when you will going to post more blog it will going to show here okay then let's see how it will going to look in our mobile now guys you can see that there is no problem in our mobile so now guys we have completed our blog page now you can see this is how our blog page is looking now so when you will post more blog it will look more amazing okay hey guys now we will going to make our services uh, page okay so you have to go to your elementor uh, home page which we have created and here you just need to go to this section that is our benefits you just need to right click and you have to click on save as template and here you have to write our services page hero for example then click on save so after you will do this now you have to scroll down and here you guys will going to see uh, your professional team so just right click click on save as template and here you have to search dual color heading then click on save now guys you have to go to your elementor page builder and from here just go to all pages then here you have to scroll down here you will see our services right click on edit open it in a new tab and then click on edit with elementor now guys click on plus select first column now guys you can click on style click on background type you can select any image for example i select this image then go to layout make the width to 600 now from height make it to minimum height and you can make the minimum height to 500 now guys you all know that we have now saved some template so you have to import that to template here so this was uh, this one and we have also this one now guys here you just need to right click click on copy now just right click on this image and paste the style now you can see it is looking amazing now guys you can delete our benefit section now guys you can just copy this professional team you can click here right click and click on paste and here you can just write take growth and in title you can write for business then go to style click on color and typography make the main and solid color to white so just click on white drag to white now click on elements drag the heading here here you can write our services make the alignment to middle now go to style make the text color to white make the typography to poppins make the size to 40 make the transfer to upper case and make sure the weight is selected to 600 now scroll down now you can delete this professional team section now click on plus button select the single column now go to elements drag the inner section here now just right click on this black box click on add new column go to elements drag image here now go to elements drag the heading here again go to elements now just search for divider just put the divider here again go to elements drag text, text editor here or guys just remove this image okay now just click on this heading and here you can write content marketing 
now make it to left alignment go to style make the color to red now click on typography make the font family to pop paints make the size to 28 make the transform to capitalize now click on this divider make the width to 15 make the alignment to left go to style make the color to red make the width to 7 make the gap to 0 now click here go to style make the color to black click on typography make sure that you write here pop paints also make size to 18 now click on this black box here go to style select border now click on hover make the border type to solid now untick the width from bottom only just add 10 make the color to red from here just add 26 so now you can see that you will going to get this effect now guys here you will see that we have this uh, one more black box at very back right here just click here go to advanced untick it from bottom just add 20 now click on this edit part go to advanced untick it make the top to 15 now guys just right just right click on this black box duplicate it two times one two and now you will see these two empty box so just delete these two box which is this one and this one now guys you will see this option so just right click click on duplicate now guys you can just click here go to layout make the column gap to wider same you can click here make the column gap to wider now guys you can just customize it for example here you can write ppc advertising ppc ppc advertising similarly you can change all and you can write the description by clicking here and write the description okay then click on update also you can click here go to advanced from peddling just add 50 then click on update so now guys let's see how it will going to look uh, look in mobile so this is how it is looking in mobile of course you can change this for example if you feel that this size is very too much so you can just make everything to 23 just copy it paste the style here as well paste the style here as well okay so everything will become a small right now i can see that there is no more problem uh, we have in our mobile then just click on update now close the responsive mode also guys one more thing which you can do here is go to this heading just drag one heading here right and make it to center and here you can just type learn more you can make it to left go to colors click on color make it to dark blue now go to content now here you have to paste the link of content marketing so now you can see that in pages we have made separate separate services page so here is our content marketing ppc advertising so for example i am showing you with only one example so just right click on view copy the url of content marketing which is this one we will also going to design this page uh, in a bit later and in place of this link you have to paste it here right now similarly you can just copy it paste it here now click here now here we have this paid advertising so just again right click on view copy the url of this paid advertising and here in under pp under ppc advertising in learn more you have to paste your ppc advertising url okay so now what will going to happen whenever someone will read your content marketing so if you want to learn more about the content marketing he can click on learn more when he will click on learn more he will go to your content marketing page where he can learn in depth about your content marketing service okay then click on update so make sure that you also design everything right so now guys as you all know that we have created the link now whenever someone will click on learn more he he can go to your content marketing and learn more about your content marketing services right so now we have to design our content marketing so you just need to first of all right click on this section click on save as template and here you can write our services and make sure you guys click on save so after you will do this just go to your pages go to appearance click on elements headers and footer uh, builder from here you will see blog sidebar click on a duplicator so now you can see that you have got this draft uh, elementor so just right click on edit and open it in a new tab and from here you can just type service right sidebar click on publish cl click on edit with elementor so now guys here you will see the search bar so right click and delete it also delete this form now go to elements and search here button then you will see this creative button drag the creative button here and in button text you can just write content marketing and you can paste the link of your content marketing here now in i can just search for arrow you can insert any arrow you want for example i want this one make the icon position to after make a spacing to 12 now go to style click on default and you can choose this button effect and in text color you can make it to black and you can make the background color to white go to hover make the text color to white of course make the text color icon color to white and make the background color to blue 
okay so now this is how it will going to look now go to content okay just go to style and you can make the alignment to center and make the width to 250 and click on typography make font family to pop ins make the size to 16 and make the width to 500 and then go to icon size and make it to 27 and make the button paddling to 20 and here you will see the border radius make it to 10 now guys you just need to duplicate this button five times one two three four five for example here now you can write your services so for example i can write paid advertising here similarly you can do for other same procedure now paste the url of paid advertising which is this one or i can or i can say ppc advertising now in place of subscribe to newsletter you can write contact info now you can click on this widget go to my template and here you will see this top bar social to click on insert so now you can see you will see this information so just copy it paste it here now again just copy it paste the mail here just copy your address paste it here now click on this mobile go to style make the alignment to center click on icon make it to center as well make the size to 22 then click on text click on typography make the size to 16 now just copy it now just right click here and paste the style now click on update and now let's see how uh, it will going to look in mobile and of course uh, one thing i want to tell you now you can just delete this section again click on update now see uh, in mobile so this is how it is looking now you can see everything is looking fine now you can make this button text and icon is small so just go to width make it to 220 make the typography to 14 and make the icon size to 18 now again just copy it and paste the style to all remaining boxes okay like this paste style now guys you can see that these icons and this text are looking very small so just so just click on this mobile and just go to style click on text and make the typography to 14 now similarly just copy it now paste the style here here so now guys after you will do this click on update go to desktop and just close it now you just need to go to this elementor header and footer now just refresh your website now you will see the service right sidebar will going to look now you just need to copy it and paste this new shortcode here so it is related to service right sidebar okay so now guys just go to pages click on all pages and now here you have this content marketing just right click on edit and open it in a new tab now click on edit with elementor now click on this plus icon select the two column so now guys here we will going to add that right uh, sidebar which we have just now created so we will just click on this box of this section we can make the column with 230 now just go to elements and just search for short code drag the short code here this was the short code copy it which you have copied in your notepad paste it here now you can see it will going to look here okay now guys you can just click on this plus here you can select this one and go to my template select our services insert it click on yes now guys you can just delete our services click on this and in first you can write content and in second you can write marketing okay now guys just click on this edit section go to layout and make the minimum height to 400 now go to advanced untick it from top margin just add 50 now click on this box go to advanced untick paddling and add 100 here okay so now there will be some gap now guys just go to elements now just drag inner section here so now you will see one inner section will come out now you just need to delete one now guys just go to elements now just drag text editor here now go to elements drag video go to elements now you just need to drag heading here also go to elements and just search for icon so you will see icon box here so just drag the icon box here now guys just click here and you can write in brief about content marketing now go to style make the text color to black click on typography make the font family to pop ins pop make the size to 18 and now here just click on this video and here you can provide the video url so if you have youtube video paste the url here if you have vimeo daily motion self hosted so you can choose any of this option and paste it here okay and in our title you can just write our work a strategy go to style make text color to black make the typography to pop ins make size to 40 now go to advanced untick it at 50 at top now click on this part select icon library type here check you can select this icon click on insert now from view make it to frame and make sure it is selected to circle and make the icon position to left now in place of this you can write google 
adsense payment and in place of this section you can just add something of your text now go to style make the primary color to red now make the spacing to 16 make the size to 5 or sorry 16 and make the size to 16 and make the padding to 3 and then click on content make the align alignment to ref spacing to 10 make the color to black or dark blue so i'm going with dark blue make the typography to poppins size to 25 also make the width and make the description to black color click on typography make the font family to poppins make the size to 18 now guys here we are giving only one of your strategies so in your business if you have more strategies so just right click duplicate it just edit it for example here i can write revenue track is that and then you can write the description so similarly you can add more okay and then click on update so now you can also put some faq that is general uh, frequently asked questions okay by your past customers so you can put that thing uh, here that thing here okay so just click on this plus select first column now you can copy it paste it here you can write faq make the alignment to center go to style make the text color to dark blue now go to elements drag the inner section here and delete this one column now just go to elements and here just search acc accordion you will see this put it here now delete the first one select this one and here you can rust your frequently asked question for example i have written this best seo tips for high quality content you can write the description here okay now from icon just click on this plus or click on all icons and search for arrow you can put this you can use this arrow click on insert so you can see that this arrow will show here and in second you can just select this go to all icons select arrow you can click on arrow up click on insert so now you can see this is how it will going to look now just go to style put border with one now guys in border color i have provided you another this uh, code paste it here click on title make the background color to white color dark blue and make the active color to red so this is how it will going to look from typography make size to 20 and select that typography as poppins now click on icon make alignment to end so it will going to show uh, the arrow here now click on content make the color to black now click on typography make size to 15 make weight to 500 and select the family font as poppins now just click on this black box go to advanced and add 15 pedaling now click on style select border now click on hover click on box shadow now click on color here you will see this zero so just add two four after you will do this now it is looking cool now make the blur 25 make sure this must be zero zero and make the spread to zero so now guys after you will do this you can just click on right click on this edit click on duplicate as you want okay and here you can just write your faq for example in second just click on second now here you can add something else write something else okay so this is how we have created the faq section now you can just click on this big button go to advanced add top and bottom 50 now click on update now let's see how it will going to look in mobile so now you can see this is how it is looking in mobile now guys in place of our work strategy you can just go to style go to typography and add 25 now guys here you can see when you will click here just go to title click on typography increase the size to 20 for example make the high to 1.4 okay now just go to advanced untick both of them now you just need to paste the style so just copy it paste in every section paste style paste style okay so now it is looking great in our mobile too then click on update we are already so now guys we are already just close the responsive now guys you can see we have created and teach you how you can create your content marketing now you have to similarly create your ppc and other services page by your own okay so what you can do to save time you can just click here you can just completely save this one so just click here click on save you can name it as content marketing page click on save now guys just close it now you for example you can just go to other pages here for example is your ppc advertising just click on edit and open it in a new tab now click on edit with elementor let me show you with one example okay so you can uh, do other services by your own so that we can save our time okay now you can just click on this template go to my templates here we have this content marketing page click on insert click on yes so now guys here you just need to change the settings for example in content marketing you can change it to ppc ppc advertising you can write some different text from here you can just need to change the video url you can just change your work our work strategy so something else okay just you just need to click and just make some changes that's all and then just click on update
so similarly you can click on social marketing just edit it with elementor paste or import that content marketing template which we have just created here and just edit it okay so this will going to save lots of your time now we will teach you how you can create your about us and contact us so to do that just go to pages click on all pages and now friends here you will see an option of edit okay so what you can do you can click on edit you will come here and from here in templates page attributes you can choose it to elementor canvas for now then just click on update similarly go to your contact us make it to elementor canvas then click on update again just click on this wordpress button you will again go to your wordpress website so for example if you want to edit about us so just click on about us but open it in a new tab so we can even customize this about us with the help of Elementor. So just click on this Elementor button. So now we can directly import some custom pages or elements or blocks with the help of Elementor. So instead of designing everything by own, what you can do, you can just click on these four buttons. You can see there are lots of predefined template given by Elementor, which you people can use. Now also you have option to customize your about us page according to yourself manually. But this is a more quick method, okay? We have taught you uh, in our lesson how you can create one beautiful website like this manually. So in manually, we, we are dragging everything by our own and we are creating everything. But in this case, what you can do, you can just click on this folder button. From here, you can see there are lots of pages. You can just search here about, okay? So it will show you all about us page. So you can see there are pro, even there are some free. So free are this one, like this one is free because here it is not written as pro. And here it is free, it is free. So there are lots of free which you guys can use okay so for example if we will going to use this one if you will click on this one and then if you will click on insert so first time it will going to tell you about this get started so if you have to connect your website with elementor it may ask you to create your account or anything but in my case it is showing connect so in your case it can show create account then it will going to give you option of connect just click on connect so now your website is successfully connected with elementor now you can directly import this about us page now friends what you can do here is that i have made one course so in that course i've also created about us and contact us page with the same method so i provided down four videos that will teach you how to create about us and contact us page and how you can check the response or responsive of about us and contact us page so please watch those four videos you will be successfully able to create one about us page so it's very simple for example here you can see if you will click here so you can just customize it like this so in that four videos you can successfully be able to create your about us and contact us okay so please make sure that you guys watch those four videos to create your about us and contact us page okay guys all courses are just same because i do not want to repeat, repeat the, those same things again so for that purpose i'm giving you those four links please watch them you will be able to create these two pages that is account that is contact and about us page now we will going to teach you how you can create your contact us page with the help of elementor web design it's again very easy just go to your elementor dashboard from here just go to edit but make sure that you right click it and open in a new tab and from here make sure that you put it to elementor canvas then click on update then again just click on edit with elementor you can create more designs manually if you want to okay there are lots of predefined templates which you can use but most of the big big websites use direct elementor template you can create yourself at very starting of the lecture i have told you how you can create your website web design with the help of elementor manually it takes time but you can choose automatic just click on the folder button and from the pages you can choose here contact here you will see you will find lots of contact us details over here okay so you can choose whatever you want to according to your business requirements you can go for this one this one whatever you want you can do this but for this purpose let's make some simple contact us page um, like this one this is looking a bit attractive but it is a pro very bad so you can go for this one if you want to it's looking very attractive okay so just select this this is the page which we will going to directly import just click on insert so now friends here you can see we have directly imported the contact us page you can do further customization over here you can change the text of looking forward okay you can go to style you can change the color to whatever you want you can make it dark you can make it black 
you can make it white whatever you want you can do it from here you can change the color so for example if i will go here to this section i can change the text for example i can write my email so for example if you want that whenever someone will click on your email one email box will directly open so what you can do here is you can add that functionality for example here you can write my mail to okay just write this code and put double dot like this then write your email address for example my email address is custico.in so this is the email address so make one formula very simple write your email address in front of your email address you have to add this mail to then double dots after you will do this just close this you can put your phone number here you can change the contact information you can make this color to let's say white blue whatever you want you can do that change the color of this text to let's say black so they have lots of things you can do up over here okay it's very simple very easy to do now the magic here is when you will click on update if you will preview your page so this is the email okay which you can see over here now what you can do we have done one mistake just come here click on here and here you just need to write the text for example just copy this full just copy this and here you will see the link option okay just paste this full text that is mail to then your email id in the link and in text you just have to put your email address like this just click on update then just refresh your page now here you will see when i will click here so you can see it will automatically going to open my email address you can see it will open my email address that you can see customer at the rate kunalrohan.in so customer can come here and he can write the message it will go to customer at the rate kunalrohan.in so i can receive that email over this email address okay so similarly you can do this as well what you can do you can put your text of email address and in link you can provide your email address but make sure that in link you have to add this mail to option so this is totally customizable for example let me copy this let me paste this style over here like this okay so you can do you can again put a social icons for example here we have for facebook you can see when i have click here so it is showing of facebook it is showing of twitter it is showing of linkedin you can change the color to for example if you want the color to be white red whatever you want you can do this for example if you want this text to be blue so just click on this edit button just go to style from here just make this color to blue like this so there are lots of things friends you can do i've taught you each and everything it's very easy to do now some of the people put one form in the contact us page so you can even do that i am just ready to show you how you can do with elementor so you just need to go here and click on plus button from here just click on plus and just click on the first column here you just need to click on elements and here you have to put html just drag it over here so whatever service you are using so that service will going to give you one form code so this is a motic app email application system motic is totally free powerful you may have heard about mailchimp and there are many other expensive software but motic is completely free the price you will pay in mailchimp to buy the pro services all those facilities are available in motic for free you have to just connect your motic with amazon scs and you can send unlimited e emails to your clients automated segment emails almost every of the emails you can make forms you can see add components you can create assets that means you can provide them pdf download files you can create form here you can create landing pages dynamic content when you will go to channels you can create marketing message emails focus items means you have seen that in most of the website we have that pop up so when we leave our website we show that pop up to our visitors so you can do that you can do social monitoring you can create automatic campaigns you can do segment emails you can create companies almost everything is available here so in this case i am going for a form so for example this is one form i have this contact us form here i will select this form here i will see the automatic form i will just do this copy this so friends in this case if you want to learn about motic how to install it it is totally free how to connect with amazon scs and can send unlimited emails how you can use motic everything is taught in one of my course i provided you link in bonus section at very down in this course lecture you can see that and learn about motic it's very good lots of big big marketers even amazon sometimes uses it big big companies like flipkart use this system 
so there are many big companies use this system okay so it's very easy for example automatic i've gone here i've copied the form code so let me show you how it will going to look if i will click on preview so this is the one basic form i just created to show you this is the form so i want to put this form inside elementor so this is the html code just paste that code over here now that code will going to come at here okay if you will click on update and if you will just refresh your contact us so you can see this is the form which, I, which has come here okay so in, in that course i have taught you each and everything how you can change the button colors and everything it's very easy okay so this is how you can do that it's very simple you can just go to elements and here also it's very form up you can write contact me 24 by 7 support 24 by 7 support just make it middle okay just click on update just again go to your contact so you can see the te text will come here so you can do further customization with elementor pre-default templates okay so it's very si simple and very easy but right now i will just remove these two okay so this is the automatic if you have problem in putting forms and everything then you can just put it manually when any visitor will come he if he will going to click on your email so directly your email box will open for your customer he can type message and you will going to receive that message in the email address which you will going to mention over here your phone number contact us in map if you will click here you have to provide your location okay so automatically that map will going to generate your location so that people can follow to your store if you have any physical store okay your address is here you can even customize it just click here change the address so this is totally customizable page you can customize it manually you can add button here for example if you want to add buttons you can add buttons you can customize it so almost everything is here okay so this is the benefit of using direct page of elementor just click on update friends now hope you guys have learned one concept okay so this was the thing i want to teach you in this lesson hope you guys have enjoyed it thank you now we will teach you how you can create your contact us page and about us page so that it will going to look more professional so let's click on this menu of elementor exit to dashboard after you will do this just go to your all pages now we have this contact us page and about us page so let's click on edit the about us page and click on edit and open it in a new tab now make sure that you make it again to elementor canvas then click on update then click on edit with elementor now we will going to teach you how you can put directly one about us page with the default elementor templates that that will make your life very much easy we have taught you how you can create your home page manually using blogs now in this scenario we will going to teach you with the help of page so just click on this folder button go to pages and from pages you have to search here about us just search about then you will see there are lots of about us pages for you you can choose any free one so for example here i can see almost all are paid okay so this about us is free okay this about us is free this is free this is free there are tons of free over here okay so these are the four to five templates that are free for you you can even use them so for example if i will going to use this template this template whatever you want you can do this let's select this one this looks very interesting just select this so this is that template that we will going to directly import in our about us page so just click on insert so friends you can see we have directly imported all our about us section over here so this is how it will going to look now you can customize this according to your requirements i will teach you how you can do this first of all about us if you will click on pencil button from here you can change whatever you want this is your one more section that is subtitle you can here write whatever you want to then comes the video section so if you will click on edit button so from here friends you can paste your video url i have told you how you can paste the url just simply paste the your youtube video url over here so that you can show up your video then here comes stay tuned on receive updates so for example if you will click here so from here you can change these settings very simple just go to style okay after you will do this just go here in pencil whatever icon you want you can just choose it for example this one this one chess anything it will going to show up here you can change some text for example from restaurant design you can change the color so i have taught you each and everything for example let's make it blue like this okay just copy this same just go to your indoor and outdoor just go to colors click on text color replace it with blue color 
just go to your corporate location click on edit just change the style to the same color so friends you can see it's very simple so for example if you want to change this image just select here just go whatever image you want to put you can put the image in case you do not require this section so just click on here just delete it for example if you don't want this section just right click here delete it if you don't want this corporate location okay just click on right button and click on delete okay so you can delete these sections this section as well so it's super simple if you do not want this section also you can delete that okay so it's totally up to you now for example if you want to make it down so just go to advance increase the margin so this section will going to go to down like this very simple very easy to do now in case if you want to change the color of this section to blue so again just click on these six buttons go to colors change the colors to blue okay so this is how this section will going to look you can put your partner's logo your employee's logo here okay you can put each and everything trusted by best so these are the some logos which you can put up over here very simple very easy to do so friends you can see just in few minutes we have directly imported our about us template directly to our website page so it's super simple to use elementor so if you will just visit your website so this is my website so these are the sections which we have created by teaching you manually and we have given you all the basic to advance knowledge that will going to help you to create any kind of web design with elementor using manual methods using elementor block and pages okay so these are the things these are the videos which we have taught you everything how to create it manually okay so it's super simple you just need to put your time and just play with elementor you can do lots of amazing things so this was the about the sections which we have just now created so just go here and click on update just go and refresh your main website you have refreshed your main website at very down we have put our about us page okay just click here then you will be able to go to your about us section and it will going to look like this super amazing super easy to do okay hope you guys have learned on how to create your about us section very easy you can change the colors and everything we have taught you okay